So Bluemap is a really powerful tool to basically make a 3D render of your Minecraft world, but most of the tutorials online are just showing it in server usage. And I know me personally, I want to make maps of my worlds without having a server. So this is a tutorial to do it just locally without a server. Um, you will need Java, but that's pretty simple. So I won't go over that. Just install Java. To start off, you're going to be on your desktop and you're going to press your Windows key and R at the same time, it'll open up that little window. You're gonna type in percent app data percent. It's gonna take you into your roaming folder where you can double click the dot Minecraft folder. And inside of there, you can find the saves and your world will be in there. So just choose which one you want to make the map of and drag it onto your desktop, keep that there. Then you're gonna make a new folder on your desktop, call it whatever you want. I just called it blue because blue map and that's where blue map is gonna be. So once you have that folder ready, you're going to go onto this website that I linked in the description and download blue map and on the GitHub, there's going to be several. You're going to choose the one that says CLI for command line interface. If you choose the one that's for like paper or forge, it's not going to work. Just get the command line interface one. Once that's done downloading, you're going to drag it into your new folder that you've made and you're going to rename it to whatever it says on the website. I just do this so it's easier uh, to put in the commands without having to change what the command says because it's dependent on what the jar file is called. You're going to right click in the folder while holding shift and there will be a button right on that little thing that pops up saying open PowerShell window here. And that's going to create a command line that's already located inside of the folder. So you don't have to CD there and you're going to copy and paste or just type out this command and it will generate all these folders inside of your root folder, which mine is called blue. You're going to go into the config folder that was generated and then double click core.config. It's going to ask you what you want to use. Just use notepad. You should have it. And it's going to list out a bunch of stuff. All you want to do is change the first thing to true to download extra stuff. I did it. You don't have to, but you can put false for sending metric data to the creators of blue map. I just did that. Then save and close it. Then go back into the root folder and drag your world file into there. So it's gonna be right next to the blue map dot jar that we put in there originally. Just make sure it's there. Then you can go back to config and then into maps. There's going to be three. Um, for me, I'm just doing the overworld. So I deleted the other two config files, but if you're doing more then just make sure to set those up too. We're gonna open up the overworld.config and change the world name to the folder name of our world. So mine was Voig, so I'm just typing in there Voig, and it has to be exact. Then you're gonna save and close out. Then you can open up that PowerShell command line again, and it will give you a few example commands. The one we're gonna do is the one with the dash R, and this will render whatever you've configured in your overworld.config file. Now that will load the world that you have in the blue folder. Now you will send in the same command, but instead of dash R, you're gonna do dash W, which will open up the web server. Just take note of the port that it gave you. Now we're gonna open up a new command line. Don't close that other one, just minimize it. And you're gonna do IP config to figure out your local IP you just need this one to put into your web browser. So that's mine. I have two. Uh, one is for my wireless connector and then the other one is for the ethernet. For me, either work. And then you'll input that IP that you got from IP config, do a colon, and then the port that the first command line gave you. And when you type that in, it should open up to your blue map page. So if you did everything right, here's your world. Super cool, super awesome. Thanks for watching.